At 3M, data is at the heart of our business. Every interaction with an external company relies on accurate data, whether that business is a customer, a vendor, or even both. For our customers, addresses need to be correct for goods and invoices to get delivered. Customer hierarchies need to be accurate for knowing the organizational structure of our customers, and even market segment is important for the appropriate grouping of our customers for sales, marketing, and reporting. For vendors, accurate data allows 3M to better leverage global spend when negotiating with them. The problems arise when humans get involved. It's so easy to introduce inconsistencies in the data or refer to customers or vendors by incorrect or incomplete business names. It's too bad that there isn't a standard way to refer to customers and vendors regardless of these inconsistencies. Well, there is. The solution to this problem lies in data purchased by 3M from the Dun & Bradstreet company. Dun & Bradstreet is often simply referred to as D&B. Each month, 3M receives a file from D&B that contains information about businesses around the world. Once this data arrives, it's stored in GEDW and Snowflake data warehouses for 3M applications to reference. This information includes things like the business's official name, the correct address with consistency in any abbreviations, and also things like what type of market or industry the business is in, the legal entity name for the company, corporate hierarchies, the number of employees, annual revenues, and so much more. In fact, there's more than 200 additional business attributes that are available for use once the company is linked to a Dun & Bradstreet Master ID, simply known as their Dun's number. Along with data from DNB, 3M can also use Dun & Bradstreet's Integration Manager tool to help identify a Dun's number for a given customer or vendor based on their name and address. This match not only returns the Dun's number, but also a confidence score to help 3M decide if this match is reliable or not. This type of matching is sometimes referred to as fuzzy matching. For example, customer one, the J&M Brown Company at 267 Armory Street, Jamaica Plain, Massachusetts with a zip code of 02130-2337. And customer two, Spectrum IT, J&M Brown, 267 Armory Street with the same city, state, and zip would both map to the same DUNS number of 007-875-297. Having easy access to the DNB data is a game changer at 3M because it allows our smart business people to do some pretty amazing things, such as creating customer hierarchies, linking a store or warehouse to the branch office, to the regional office, to the national office, to the international headquarters, the holding company, etc or grouping customers into a market segment. For instance, seeing all the sales into woodworking shops. Standard industrial classification codes, referred to as SIC codes, and the North American Industrial Classification System, known as NAICS, are used to group customers. The DNB data will also help identify duplicate customers that might exist within 3M's master data. It will determine legal structures to manage things like who is ultimately responsible for paying a 3M invoice that might be past its due date. And this data allows sourcing to leverage aggregate spend from multiple 3M vendor IDs with the same parent company during contract negotiations. But ultimately, it's an opportunity for 3M to know our customers and engage with our vendors more intimately. For more information about Dun & Bradstreet, visit go.3m.com slash db. And to boost your data literacy about what goes on at 3M, stop by go.3m.com slash data literacy.